In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to find the coefficient of expansion using the binomial theorem. So if you recall, in the prior lesson, we talked about the binomial theorem in expanding a particular binomial. In this case, we have an example of x minus 3 to the sixth. So in expanding that, the first thing we did was we found the combination of uh, 6 or the n value choose 0 or 6, 0. And the second was 6, choose 1. And the third was 6, choose 2. And the fourth was 6, choose 3, and so on and so forth. And then we took that value. So in this case, 6 to the 0 is going to be 1. We took the x value to the n value, which is x to the 6th. And then the second value, or the b value, negative 3, to the 0. Then we added that to the second term, which is going to correspond to this combination value, 6 choose 1, which is going to be 6 times x to the 6 minus 1, which is 5, times negative 3 to the 1. And then we took the value of 6, excuse me, of 6 choose 2, uh, which is going to be 15 times x to the fourth. So as you see, we're descending 6, 5, 4, negative 3 squared, and so on and so forth. The question is, how do I find out the value of the coefficient for x squared without having to go through this entire process? Message received. So let's take the first problem. Find the coefficient of expansion of x squared in the expansion of x minus 3 to the 6th. So what we do is we find out what the n value is. The n value is going to be 6. And then we identify uh, then we identify what the combination value is going to be for x squared. And that's simply going to be c, 6 is our n value, excuse me, we, then we find our second value, our r value, choose 6 minus 2. So it's our n value minus 2, which is going to be a combination of 6, choose 4. So that's the first part of our coefficient. Then the second part is we take the x value. And now we know it's x squared already, because we want the coefficient of x squared. So we simply put x squared in the next spot. And then finally, we take our b value, which in this case is negative 3. And we raise it to the n value minus the, uh, the exponent for the a value, which is 2, and we have 4. So now we can find our coefficient of expansion for x squared. And that's simply going to be c, uh, 6 choose 4, which is going to be 15 again, times x squared times negative 3 to the fourth, which is just negative 3 times negative 3, which is 9 times negative 3, which is negative 27, times negative 3 again, which is 81. So now I have 81 times 15x squared. And that's going to be your answer. So let's take another problem. In this case, we want to find the coefficient of x to the fourth in the expansion of 2x to the negative 5. Uh, 2x minus 5, excuse me, to the 7. So the coefficient of expansion, first we find the combination value. It's 7 choose 7 minus 4, which is going to be 3. The second value, of course, is just going to be x to the 4th. I'm sorry, 2x to the 4th. And we want to make sure we put parentheses around that value. So let me just rewrite this so it looks a little bit cleaner. I'm going to put parentheses around this value because not only are we taking x to the fourth, we're taking 2 to the fourth as well. And then we're going to multiply that by negative 5 to the 7 minus 4, which is going to be to the third. So now I have a combination of 7 choose 3. 
So the combination of 7 choose 3 is going to be 35. 2x to the 4th is going to be 16x to the 4th. And negative 5 to the 3rd is going to be negative 125. So I multiply these all through, and I get 35 times 16 times negative 125, and that equals 70,000 x to the fourth. So my coefficient for x to the fourth is going to be 70,000. Now let's just revisit the prior problem to get the answer uh, to make sure that we're correct in our terms of coefficients. In this case, it's just going to be 81 times 15, which is going to be 1,215. That's your coefficient in the coefficient of expansion for x squared. Right. But your term will be 1215 x squared.